So I started rehearsing for this show. It's on within the week, which is nuts. And it's been interesting because um, I've never done it before. So I'm rehearsing parts of it. So I'll know it off by heart. But while I'm doing that, I'm also adding new stuff to it and subtracting stuff that just doesn't feel like it's working in it. And what will be interesting is what, just performing it will be interesting because the audience will almost tell me in in a weird way what what is working and what isn't working. And even though I'm not a comedian, it, I'll, I reckon I'll be able to feel what the vibe of certain things And if I ever do this again, I'll know which bits to keep and which bits to just chuck in the bin. I go between being really nervous about it and then thinking, nah, there's nothing to be nervous about. It's just doing pretty much what I've been doing, just with a bunch of people in the same room at the same time. (laughs) It'll be fun. So far, I've sort of planned it around some sort of bizarre, weirdo introduction, followed by a bunch of work-related nine-to-five stuff that initially I was making videos on that a lot of people found me through those videos then moving into sort of art culture and psychology and then into magic territory so it goes it sort of moves from cynical life shit into childhood magic shit so I kind of like the overall weird flow of it I haven't I haven't planned, it wasn't a deliberate thing, it's just how it seemed, bits seemed to fit together as I was sort of putting it together slowly. Most of, mostly the first 20 minutes is kind of planned down to a, a T, and then the, the next 40 minutes is a, is a very loose. So I'm, I'm sort of hoping that the, the last 40 minutes, 30 minutes of the show will, will just will just be stuff that I've talked about at nauseum on on my podcast or on doing lives and shit on TikTok or whatever. And also even just um, talking shit with the audience. I don't know if that'll happen. I'm not a very quick thinker. So, yeah, if, if you're coming, yeah, feel free to heckle me. I, I won't know how to handle it at all. In a way, it's weird because I, I remember seeing a, a stand-up comedian called Daniel Kitson back in the 2000s, years ago, and I was thinking, this guy's not really doing comedy. He's kind of doing spoken word and interesting things. Like, he's saying interesting things, and occasionally he'll throw a joke in there. And I was thinking, wow, if, if only I had the confidence to do something like that, I'd do that. But I, at the time, I was like, no way would I do that. I wouldn't even have the interesting stuff to interesting stuff but 20 years later I'm pretty much doing a show kind of like that in a in a weird way I'm not expecting anyone to laugh because I'm not a comedian but I know I've, I've got some funny poems in there and a few funny stories but yeah see what happens fuck it's funny how we grow into ourselves at different rates and different speeds and how some people seem to make it or peak in high school whereas someone like myself for I'm peaking at the moment at almost at the age of 50, which is kind of stupid. Not stupid, but that's just how life worked. And when I say peak, I kind of mean just coming into yourself, arriving into yourself. In some ways, I felt like I was, I was always arriving into myself, and I, part of me thinks this, is, this isn't where it ends. There's more interesting stuff to happen to me other than doing a live show. But it's interesting practising for it, because I'm not just practising like what I'm going to say and what I'm going to do. I'm practicing the emotions that I'll feel as before it, the day before it, two minutes before I get up, the first three minutes. I know nothing can really prepare me, but I'm trying to feel those weird feelings that I'll feel in those small moments. I did something very similar when I did my book launch five years ago, and it was, it was I thought I'd never be able to do it, but I did it, and it, and it did really... People thought I'd been doing this shit forever. And it's like, no, I fucking... It scares me to fucking death. But, yeah, it's, it is it is weird. I remember those emotions and the bits and pieces that I felt. Like, just before I went up to do my book thing, I thought, oh, holy shit, I'm, I'm not even here anymore. What's going on? It's almost like I had a mental blank. It was like I was puppeteering my body from outer space. They call it dissociation. I hate... I hate fucking modern psychology words. People have been talking about this shit forever, but they just added a new fancy word to to, to update it or modernise shit. 
but it, it did. It felt like I was protectively, I was very in the moment and I was very, I was weirdly interacting with the audience, but also I felt like a sense of, I was also protecting myself at the same time. It was weird. It was a, it was strange. People, and, and the, the feedback I got was that I was, I was very there. I was very, I felt more alive than I'd ever felt before, even though it felt like I was puppeteering my body from outer space, but at the same time, I felt more in my body than I'd ever felt before. So it's, it's not dissociation. It was, it's almost something beyond that, that modern psychological blah, words don't, couldn't even describe, I guess. So I've heard a lot of comedians talk about how it's the, the craziest thing that, that they've ever done or the weirdest high or the weirdest, most amazing thing they've done. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not a comedian, but I, I, I experienced it very briefly doing that, that, um, that book, that book launch and people la- pissing themselves and laughing and, and all that sort of shit. And yeah, it was, a, it was a weird feeling. And the, and the, the days after it, I felt like I'd, I'd own myself. Like, like, it's like I'd put a saddle on myself and I own myself. And for about three or four days to a week, even a few months later, I thought, I, I fucking own myself. Fuck, fuck you world. I fucking own me. No one owns me. I do. So it's, it wasn't, e- it wasn't an ego thing either. It was just like, it was like all my fears fell away. It was, it was weird. It was, it was, it was a beautiful feeling. It did last for about, yeah, a few months later and after a while just, it fell away. But yeah, I get that weird thrill high or whatever when I hear comedians talk about that, that weird feeling that they get from performing live and that weird instant feedback that the, the instant feedback on social media is just is not the same that, that I once very briefly felt when I was doing that book launch five years ago. But yeah, my 28 year old self, 28, 38, 48, 20 years later would, would, would have never guessed that I was doing this shit. It's, it's so, it's so weird. Uh, The only reason I did videos, like I mentioned in another podcast was because of social media saying, suggesting, why don't you do a one minute video? I thought, oh, why not? I'll just try it. (laughs) And that's, and that's that's how all this shit started. It all started like that. And while I've been practicing for this, I've been just checking out interviews with different performers and all that sort of shit and, and writing down their little bits of advice. And it seems that the only real advice that that seems true, it rings true to me, is if it's going well, you slow down. If you're fucking it up, you slow down. Everything is about slowing down. But it's easy to know that in theory and actually do it while under pressure. So that'll be a whole different thing. So I'll see. I'm just going to have to, um, yeah, have one or two beers beforehand, and and which will mean I'll slow down and swear more. But I guess I swear enough on this podcast anyway, so it's not like I'm going to be any much different. You can get tickets in the show notes of this if you feel like it. I'm I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also looking forward to f- um, getting on to the, the next project, which is a best of book that I want to get out before the end of the year. Maybe two books, the best of my poems and a best of my little typewriter quotes which are from the poems so I was, yeah I'm really looking forward to doing those and getting back to doing what I what I'm what I'm what I know I'm already good at but yeah if you'd like to leave a review for this podcast on Apple or Spotify or wherever you're listening to it I'd love it Ta.